In the North Atlantic Ocean lies a remote island chain, an island chain which possesses a wide range of ecosystems. It's a world of ancient forests, sub-zero mountains, malodorous swamps, scorching deserts, and whatever the hell this is. This is a land where humans act just like they would in the real world. A world in which people work, trade, fight, steal, and apparently date. This is Gilena, a world both magical but dangerously addictive. The species of gamer found in Gilenor has diversified into multiple subspecies. As the sun rises over Lumbridge, we observe the curious behavior of the runescape noob, a subspecies of gamer found across multiple Gilenor timelines. Notice how they wander about, mostly in mismatched armor, their inventory brimming with random items. They are, after all, primitive creatures. Noobs often exhibit a remarkable social behavior, seeking guidance from more experienced players due to their natural curiosity. These exchanges are like a form of digital mentorship, where skills are passed down from one generation to the next. In their pursuit of knowledge and experience, noobs often engage in epic battles against the simplest of foes. These skirmishes might appear trivial to the seasoned eye, but for the noob, they're a rite of passage. Their joy upon achieving even the simplest milestones is palpable. Every level up, every quest completed, is a cause for celebration. In time, the noob will grow into something special, depending on the environment in which the noob matured. The wilderness is a place where echoes of a once thriving civilization still resonate through the decaying remnants of ancient ruins and dark forests. Beyond the forests, the frigid tundra of the deep wilderness is a place where the cold winds howl and blizzards rage. Here, the relentless environment poses a challenge of survival that only the most determined can conquer. It is a realm where the bold and courageous set forth on perilous journeys, braving the ever-present dangers that lurk around every corner. Here, adventurers seek not just treasure, but the thrill of exploration and the excitement of high-stakes encounters. Here we can see a creature native to the lands of the wilderness, the Pekaer. The peak hair can be identified by its intricately chosen weaponry combined with economic armor. After a tiring day, the predator finally meets prey, an unsuspecting achievement hunter. Contrary to popular belief, peak hairs are not opportunistic predators. Peak hairs are drawn to the thrill of combat and are known to kill even when completely fed. A biological trait also found in domestic house cats. As such, we shall refer to these players as pussies. Over time, the wilderness has undergone a remarkable evolution, with efforts to make it more welcoming and less hostile. What was once a harsh and unforgiving wilderness is now a place where adventurers can explore with a greater sense of security. The once formidable threats have been rebalanced to offer a more enjoyable experience, ensuring that adventurers can test their skills without the constant fear of losing their hard-earned progress. All the prey needs to do is opt out of PvP. While the PvPers are nearly extinct, 
Most of them have evolved to more sophisticated combat subspecies called the PVA Emmers. PV Emmers are the dedicated hunters of RuneScape, arming themselves with the finest weaponry and armor, each piece carefully selected for the task. PV Emmers are usually found in War's Retreat, as this is their preferred sanctuary due to its amenities and nutritional nature. They are easily identified by their communication style, saying things such as GZ, get good or spoon. Alternatively, they can be identified by their inability to stay calm after running out of invention charges, ammo or runes. PV Emmers constantly hunt prey to survive and amass rare drops. Their unwavering dedication to completing some of the longest grinds is as much commendable as it is a testament to their mental health. Perhaps obtaining rare drops is a coping mechanism, although scientists have not yet pinpointed the exact reason PVMers embark on such extensive journeys. Some PVMers at the top of the food chain take hunting to the maximum and manage to assassinate their prey in less than a second. These are known as speed killers. Other far less confident and far weaker subspecies resort to taking a different approach. Instead of hunting prey by themselves, they have adapted to latch onto more efficient hunters to amass similar accomplishments. It is a delicate but consensual relationship at least most of the time. After a cold, hard winter, the first rise of the sun triggers a great quarterly event. Shoals of skillers move into residential areas. They are gathering to gain experience. In Gillinor, skillers are the guardians of craftsmanship the cultivators of resources and the silent architects of the world. Skillers turn raw materials into valuable creations, adding depth and value to the runescape world. Their tools are their trusted companions as they carve, forge and craft with unwavering dedication. Together, they exhibit incredible social cooperation. Thanks to combined efforts, skillers are able to both save resources and gain more experience by sharing working stations. What makes this gathering truly magnificent is that all of this teamwork is done with limited communication between individuals. Scientists believe this may be the result of a unique AFK mutation. Within this group of skillers lies a creature with more than one personality. Fashion Scapers Fashion Scapers take customization to a whole new level, donning outfits and accessories that reflect their personality and beliefs. Fashion Scaping involves careful curation and attention to detail. Every color, piece of clothing and accessory is chosen with precision to create a look that is uniquely their own. These fashion scapers are not only crafting outfits, they are crafting an identity, hoping to catch the eye of a potential mate. When looking to mate, fashion scapers put on a display of particles. It's a vivid spectacle where colors, textures, and accessories come together to create a mesmerizing display of self-expression. Their interactions are playful as they twirl to try and seek a connection with someone who appreciates their style and personality. It's a whimsical reminder that, even in the most unexpected of places, the quest for connection and romance remains a universal pursuit.
If the budget allows it, we shall cover a special sub-ecosystem of Gillinor in the next episode, The Grand Exchange, a place in which many vile subspecies reside.